<laughs> that wasn't good. Who, who didn't have a fake ID back then? Right? Oh, I had a terrible one. You had a terrible I can, one? I can you actually had yeah. one. Yeah, I did. Yeah, it was it was shocking. <laughs> I did too, and it worked all the time. Yeah. Didn't even really? Look like Mine me. was shocking. It was like ten years to all. It was it was really bad. Yeah. So here you you are a a student, right? Yep. Yep. And Hugh Grant's a student, or his character, right? Mm -hmm. He's a teacher, right? Oh, I'm Hugh Grant's student. I'm sorry, <laughs> Hugh Grant's a student. I'm like, no, he's not. Confusing <laughs> when we're talking about <laughs> the character you play yes. is a student. Yeah. The character Hugh plays, yes. correct? <laughs> correct. Okay, good. correct. Um, so what was that like? Um, it was fantastic. It was a lot of fun. And Hugh uh, really set the tone from day one by giving Marissa and I this outrageous book called I'm not even going to say 50 the title. Fifty Shades of Grey. <laughs> Just kidding. Close enough. <laughs> uh, was close it enough. Love? Yeah, that close kind enough. of genre? Yeah, yeah oh. outrageous. So um, while the film isn't risque, Hugh was quite, um, he was a very cheeky guy, very funny. What a cast you have on this thing. Yeah. J.K. Simmons, yep. who uh, could be an Oscar winner. Yeah. We'll find out soon. What was it like to work with all of these stars? Uh, it was fantastic. Uh, he was lovely. I love working with Alice and Jenny, everyone. Marissa Tomei, you know, wonderful cast. You are also known for Dark Shadows. Is that, is that basically, what's, what, are, what are people most recognize you when uh, you're out and about? It's like kind of your, your biggest role? Um, yeah, I don't get recognized often, strangely enough, from Neighbours. I played a oh, right. in Neighbours and people... In Australia? Have, yeah, in Australia. It's like the biggest show there. Yeah, and well, I you believe, guys have two shows. But. Yeah, yeah. Two, <laughs> we have two shows, only two shows in Australia. But if um, you made Neighbours, then you're, you're set, right? Yeah, and I bullied Margot Robbie, so I'm pretty proud of that. Right, it's yeah. just you two, basically, <laughs> representing your entire nation right now. <laughs> you and Margot I think there, Robbie. Are, there are a few more. There are a few Move more over out Nicole here. Kidman. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> She's had her 15 minutes. Um, but, but are you, I mean, do people recognize you in the States? It's obviously not as much as home, but you think a movie like this, it might change things. I, I don't know. I can't imagine being recognized. I'll just keep changing my head. No, I know. Well, that helps. <laughs> um, no, I don't, you know, I can't even, no. We've been calling this the alternative to the Fifty Shades. I know, like we just said before this, we're so tired of talking about it. <laughs> But really, this is like this is like a true romantic comedy. Yeah. So tell us yeah. just a little bit about the film, what uh, the premise or the, or the or the film is. Uh, Hugh Grant plays a screenwriter who's kind of a bit washed up mm -hmm. and ends up teaching teaching screenwriting at a college, which he doesn't take too seriously, and he selects his class like he'd select a beauty pageant. Um, <laughs> all hot and girls. Then all hot girls. Right. Yep, and a couple of nerdy guys, uh, and then. Marissa Tomei comes along and I guess challenges his idea of everything. Mm. Yeah. Gee, I wonder what happens next. <laughs> I, I bet we'll get surprised. Uh, but <laughs> those are always fun movies, though. Especially, yeah, you know, no, it's great. Love I, lo I mean, I, I'm a sucker for a rom com, and I'm yeah. a major sucker for a Hugh Grant. That's film. what Valentine's Day so is all about. Yeah. Oh, look at you two in bed writing. In bed. You look so studious. Now I see why it's called a rewrite. It's in theaters <laughs> on Friday. Take your love, or maybe someone you hope to love. <laughs>